What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you the community versus Bungie. Now not three days ago I tweeted the following. Want Bungie to hear your true thoughts on Destiny 2 and its current state? How has it been for you? Got any constructive criticism also? Get your voices heard and leave a comment down below. Basically, I want it to be a platform for you guys to get your voices heard on how D1 affected your life and how D2 has well not. I will be keeping this clean so I don't expect to see many Destiny or Dead replies read out. What I wanted here was to allow you guys to be heard by telling us how you feel about Destiny 2 and how it's become and the ways you believe it can be fixed. So let's get into it. Etsky states... Why after 3 years of development did they take 2 steps back? The dev team must have learned so much during the D1 era, yet they still went backwards with some of their development process for D2. It was like we just jumped into a graphically and storytelling improved D1 year 1. I remember promises of a better endgame for D2, so content creation would be faster. Yet they took away the main grind and content is coming out no faster than D1 did. Albeit the crowd pressure has probably been a drawback for the dev team as their numbers dwindle rapidly. And I hate to say it because I love Bungie, but why on earth did they let the community get to where it was before addressing it? It's social suicide. I'm seeing content creators in other games get put in the game, solidifying the community, while you start to let yours run wild. At the end of the day, it wasn't a game that pushed me away. I got sick of the salt mine I was in. Pretty much every raid I tried to Sherpa on LFGs, clans, etc. was horrible, depressing, saddening and repetitive. While I saw the devs with little communication to their failing community. And he's got a point, the Destiny community right now is at an all-time low. I mean, it's full of people who are just salty about everything Bungie do. And to be honest, you can't really blame half of them. I mean, it's Bungie's fault. They made people this way. With a giant disappointment that was Destiny 2, they promised us so much more and we did not get that. Nathan Insane said, I feel that it's been the same problem that's been there for four years plus. A lack of back and forth dialogue and more frequent communication. I think the community is very passionate and wants to know their thoughts direction of the game so that we the community can give quicker feedback and interact with either approval or disapproval of the direction. Personally, I want to give us more power customization to shape our universes. Forge mode for PvE and PvP to create strikes, games, horde, fun things and a marketplace to share videos, pictures and content. Again, he makes a great point. Bungie's lack of communication with the community before Destiny 2 started to fail was appalling. I mean, now they're more or less on top of everything, but like I said before the game and when it was failing, but like I said before the game was failing, the communication was shocking. Mill Gaming says, the way they changed this game from D1 was a mistake because now they're trying to reverse what they did. They will need to bring the time to kill back, change the loot system, RMG roles, etc. In my opinion, D2 is done now. We will need to wait for D3 because D2 won't be the same. And Mill makes a great point. D2 right now is a million miles apart from D1. They took all the good things from D1 and chucked them out the window. And now they're trying to revert back to how D1 was. And this is just one example of an opinion from someone who says it's too little too late for Destiny 2 now. Mild Life Crisis states the following, I think it's missing the powerful element. Towards the end of D1 I felt like a god, strong, fast and capable, able to take on any challenge. Now max level just feels like a number, I feel weak and slow. And this is true, you don't feel like a superhero like you did in D1. Mikey thinks, in all honesty bro, I think we were missold a sequel that promised so much more than it actually had. They changed far too much in my opinion, graphics wise it was stunning, but the little changes like no bounties, random rolls, actual end game was just a disappointment. And like I just said, yes they took away so many great things from D1. Bounties and random rolls are just a few things. It's crazy when you think about it. Bezio wishes for a faster time to kill, more interesting mechanics for exotics for example, flamethrower mechanics for fighting lion, old weapon system, there is no point to use anything but rocket launchers, bring back old 3v3 trials elimination, deeper in game loot, customization to weapons, again all great points. White Shadow thinks, I also believe they shouldn't be catering to the casual players. Let's take a look at Twitch for example. Most game success is because of streaming and content creation. If you don't give those people enough to do, people stop playing. Destiny is a hardcore game. And this point here is 100% the truth. 
a game like Destiny built up a lot of its community through content creators posting about the game because there was endless things to do and cover and post about, the community got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. D2, because it lasted literally a month content wise, it saw a lot of its content creators move on to other games. And this, as we all know, will not help the game. Everyone saw this, in my opinion, besides Bungie. How is that? Andrew believes, gorgeous game, improved story, nice quality of life changes, fast travel, no need to go to orbit, but lacks variety, speed, fun of D1, narrowed the skill gap too much, removed variety, slowed it down too much, 2300 hours in D1, 300 in D2, bored and waiting while fortnighting. Jelly Belly states, the thing I want most for PvP, snipers back in the rightful slot, PvE I want two main things. 1. Random rolls, give us things to chase. 2. Huge record books to grind out. Even if it's just for emblems, players need a long grind in between content drops. And I agree, there's just absolutely no content right here right now. Nothing to chase, nothing to play for. Courtney says, catered too much for the casual player, wanted to reach a wider audience and in doing so alienated a lot of their original base. Threw out almost everything we loved from D1 and started over. We are slow and weak, no random rolls, and missing that overall grind from D1. I couldn't have said it better myself. Destiny 1, in my opinion, was a game for the hardcore player. Destiny 2 is 100% a game for the casual player. And with a game like Destiny and the game it should be, it caters for the hardcore player, not casual player. And we can see that with the difference between D1 and D2. One's for hardcore, one's for casual. Sam says, reward system tokens, 4v4 crucible, time to kill in crucible, and a bland bone raid loot and exotics were all big negatives for me. What made D1 special was the grind for powerful and unique exotics like Galli and Icebreaker and feeling powerful when using them in PvE and PvP. Again, I couldn't agree more. There are no true exotics in Destiny 2. There's no true exotic I feel I've needed. There's nothing like the Galahorn. There's nothing like the Icebreaker. Nothing like the Last Word. Nothing like the Fawn. And the list goes on and on. Exotics need to feel exotic. Nathan says, the game simply is less fun to play than D1. The feeling of power is gone in both PvP and PvE. Even if it was like a bit broken at times, D1 was simply more entertaining being able to pull off crazy plays in PvP or make that clutch in a raid as a last guardian. These things are what kept me playing D1 for 3 years and hardly playing any other game. Sadly, I'm probably not playing the game until unless these things are fixed. And this sucks as a player who no lives D1 for the better part of 3 years. I'm in the same boat as you Nathan, I no life this game for the entire 3 years it was out. Now I can't even play the game for longer than an hour, it's a true shame. Dunkin Ryan states, Destiny no longer holds that surprise or excitement it used to have. There's no separation of player base and I really would love to know why. This game used to hold a special place for everyone in this community and it no longer can hold our attention, it's a shame. Incognito states, Destiny 2 is so bland and boring. I remember in Destiny 1, I would actually have fun on Friday and Saturday nights, getting a raid group together to get some cool loot or do trials. I sucked at trials but it was fun and the PvP maps looked very nice. Destiny 2 just feels bad. Nigel T says, Titan Shield, Healing Rift need to go, Hunters feel weak as fuck, PvP is not enjoyable, people just hugging at each other in spawns, no skill needed to play D2. Again a great point, so many great points from these hardcore players. Destiny 2 has been a hardcore letdown for me, but with all the passion from the people I am seeing replying to my initial tweet, their messages spam my notifications and you can see them on screen now, I feel it actually isn't too late for Bungie. Some seriously interesting points made here, points which I believe Bungie might have heard before and are working towards, but with the passion I do see here, I believe it's not too late for the game. If the right changes are made, I believe the game can pick itself back up. It's just going to take real hard work from Bungie. The addition of Nightfall scoring was a good addition, obviously not enough to keep the hardcore players playing for longer than a few days, but it's a good step in the right direction, a direction Bungie I believe are taking this game back towards D1's core mechanics of what sucked us all in. Everything from the end game grind, the record books, the faster paced 6v6 PvP, strike exclusive rewards, exotics feeling exotic, mayhem and rumble, a proper mod system which allows us to customise individual weapons to make them feel extra unique like random rolls, things to chase, scores to beat, raids to rinse and repeat with reason to do so. 
These are changes Bungie are working towards. These are changes I believe can improve the game for the better. And it's changes like these which will determine this game's future. With the March 27th update, we should see a steady flow of players returning. When the May update lands with the DLC, that's going to be the major point of weakness in this game's future. If their player base doesn't return for such an update and DLC, I don't think they ever will return. It's going to take major changes to pull people away from new games, such as Fortnite and Monster Hunter, plus the addition of other games coming out. It's going to be super hard work for Bungie, but yeah people, only time will tell. I'm hoping things do pick up. With the right changes, I'm optimistic they can. But how do you feel about this whole situation? Let me know exactly what you think about D2 and how it has changed since the first game in your opinion for the worst. Just drop a comment down below. Also guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by though and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Get it right.